and we're back. So Nate Richter is off giving Adam Elzey a ride to the airport. I volunteered to cover for him today, so me and the 16 pound cat named Tony. Tony, give him a little pose. We're gonna be giving you guys some bike maintenance tips. Uh, Tony's gonna show you how to lay around and do nothing all day. And if some customers come in, we'll get to do a little meet and greet, show you guys what it's like to be at the OSS store all day. Oh, look at him, just a fur ball of filth. But watch this. Someone gets excited when their food is on their way, huh? Look at him, and he's off. Here you go. Yeah, so in case you're wondering, that is a gangsta chain. As vital as truing your wheels is to BMX, it seems like not a lot of people know how to do it. So today I'm just gonna give you guys a quick rundown of how to get a wheel properly true. Gangsta. Nothing is more important to kill in the game than having a pair of true wheels. Isn't that right, Tony? He agrees. The reason you want to keep your wheels pretty true is that over time, the more spokes you get to become loose, the more it's likely that you're gonna destroy your wheels. So let me give you guys a quick tidbit. So usually you want to do everything in sets of two. So these two spokes are a pair, followed by these two, these two, so on and so forth. So for example, if your wheel is rubbing on the right side, you're gonna to want to tighten the two spokes on the left. Since I'm pretty OCD, my wheels are already pretty true. I'm just gonna find a couple imperfections and true it out. You can do this at home, you're just basically using your thumb. Um, just spin the wheel, put your thumb um, as close to the tire as you can get. So right now I have a rub here on the right, so I'm gonna tighten the two spokes on the left. You're gonna wanna do about a quarter spin. Spin it once and see how you're doing. So once you've successfully trued the front wheel, you're gonna to wanna to move to the back. That's where the majority of the damage usually is. So mine has, since I spin to the right a lot, uh, mine has more damage going to the left. So I'm gonna probably be working primarily on the right. I have a pretty unfair advantage because I have brakes. So that means that I could use my brake pads as the truing stand. A little DIY you can do at home is you can add zip ties to your chain stays, cut them to the length that where they're approaching the rim, then see where the rubbing is occurring. So once your wheel is perfectly centered, the next thing you wanna do is check for a bounce. We call those hops. So a hop is any time that the wheel is coming up too high or too low. What I would recommend is placing your finger really close to the tire, spinning it. If it touches at one point more than anywhere else, that means that that part of the wheel is too elevated, so you wanna bring it down. The best way to do that is, let's say that the elevation is here, you're gonna to want to loosen the four spokes around this area, just a quarter of a spin, and then you're gonna to wanna to tighten the four spokes in this area. Again, just a quarter of a spin. So once you've found your wheels perfectly true, the next thing you wanna check on is your chain. I do crank flips, so I tend to keep my chain a little more loose than others. Um, the easiest way to do that is obviously to shift your wheel slightly a bit more forward and have a little bit of play there. Another thing you could do is keep your cranks a little more loose. So this compression bolt, instead of like cranking it down really tightly, you just want to keep it nice and snug. The last thing you could do is add a little bit of oil or lube to your chain. So I'm going to show you how to do that now. So there are a lot of different ways to keep your chain nice and lubed. My preferred method is to apply a little bit of lithium grease, which is a little thinner than other grease. Uh, just put it on a little napkin. Again, you're gonna want to, and take this as a precautionary note, you're gonna wanna back pedal. You don't wanna pedal forward. Uh, I've seen a lot of people get their hand caught on the sprocket and it mangles up your hand, so you don't wanna do that. So just uh, lightly apply the napkin, back pedal, make sure that you're on top of the chain, that way you can't get caught on the other side of it. And just, you're gonna to wanna to do this until you get a nice little even coat of like lithium grease in the actual links. Then you can actually just use a napkin to clean the excess lithium grease off the chain and sprocket. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions or leave me any suggestions and who knows, maybe I'll make a video about that next time. Basically all of you guys ordered so many stickers from the come up and on some shit that we needed to update all of our equipment in order to meet the demand. So what we ended up doing was getting this Dymo label printer that allows us to heat transfer onto a sticker and directly place it on your order. So let me show you how this works. So usually either Nate or Big Phil will come on the computer, look for your guys' orders. Let's say we get an order of 25 stickers. And like that, we got a new label. So the coolest thing about this technology is that it not only lets us print out multiple labels really quickly, but it also lets us print out the postage. So go on to the Stamps website, buy our postage, and presto. Got 25 labels ready to go. So once the labels have all been printed, all we gotta do is get the stickers. As you can see here, we have a tub of about 10,000 stickers. Separate them, 
put them in an envelope, stamp them, and they're off to you guys. So between packing orders, helping out customers, and then the little informational video I did on tuning up your bike, my buddy here and I are pretty tired. Tony? Yeah, he's out cold. So that's gonna probably do it for today. Uh, let me know in the comments again if you have any questions, if there's any DIYs, if there's anything you wanna see behind the scenes of the OSS store, the come up, no jumper, whatever. Let me know and uh, I'll try to make a vlog post about this next time. But for now, this is Alfredo signing off. Please subscribe to my channel, subscribe to the come up, check out no jumper, Nate Richter, Adam LZ, John Hicks, all the homies. Much love y'all.